Hey there. So sometimes uh, after a show, someone will come up to me and they'll ask me if I really talk like this. And I tell them that I do. And then usually they say, wow, you must be high like all the time. That's not it, actually. I actually had a brain tumor when I was a kid. That plus I'm high all the time. So. Yeah, I'm all right now, though. I had it removed when I was 11. You know they don't let you keep your tumor? It's true. I asked the nurse. She said, what do you need it for? I said, what do you need it for? One thing I learned from that whole experience, though, is uh, we got to be more careful about the way we break bad news to children. Because we try to protect them by oversimplifying things. But that can actually make things more confusing. Like, I remember my parents came into the room with a the doctor. They said, John, don't panic. but there's something growing inside your head. <laughs> what do you mean, like a baby? <laughs> and they said, no, it's not a baby. All you need to know is the doctors are gonna take it out. <laughs> well, that still sounds like a baby. Yeah, another thing that makes me sad is uh, when parents try to live out their failed dreams through their children, you know? That's why I'm living out my dream right now. That way, when I have kids, I can force them to live out things I had only a passing interest in. Yeah, yeah my son will come up to me, he'll say, Daddy, why do I have to be a fireman when I grow up? And I'll say, well, son, when I was your age, I saw a movie called Backdraft. <laughs> and for two days, I thought I might want to be a fireman. <laughs> then I forgot about it when I saw Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> That's your brother Axel's problem. Yeah, advertising's getting weird. Yeah, they have sponsors for closed captioning now. now. If you don't know what's involved in making closed captioning, it's one guy sitting in a room and typing. <laughs> Pretty sure you could sponsor closed captioning for like 18 bucks an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Not even to promote anything. Just to let people know I'm a good guy. You're gonna be watching the Super Bowl next year. You're gonna hear, closed captioning for the Super Bowl was brought to you by John. <laughs> That's right, John, who says, don't worry, deaf people, I got you. <laughs> so I'm trying to eat healthier, uh, trying to gain some weight. I put on about one pound over the last three years. But <laughs> most of that's hair weight, though, so it doesn't really count. I've been eating at this uh, Jamaican restaurant near my place in Toronto. They have a boneless goat roti there. I'm not gonna order that. <laughs> People think veal is cruel. What about the poor, boneless goat? <laughs> laying out there in the sun. Sad, lumpy puddle of goat. <laughs> At night, the farmer's gotta take him back into the barn with a shovel and a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Save the boneless goat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 